Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Eric Hughes back with another video and today I will show you guys how to protect your apps with Face ID or a passcode. Of course, on iOS, there is no feature that allows us to directly do that. Lock any app with Face ID, passcode or Touch ID. But there is always a workaround that we have to figure out in order to lock an app with passcode or Face ID. Now, there used to be a method with screen time, but that's not really that good. And now we have a new trick that you can do in order to protect any app you want using Face ID or a passcode. Now, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to the channel where I've seen this trick. Of course, I will leave them linked right down below in the description of the video. So let's get started. There are two different features of iOS that you can combine in order to protect any app you want with Face ID or a passcode. First of them is guided access. You go to settings and you go ahead and go to accessibility. Scroll all the way down. You will find guided access right here. Make sure you go ahead and enable it and go to passcode settings. And here's where you can enable the passcode, which you will use to basically unlock the app that is locked. So tap on set guided access passcode and enter any passcode you want here. Re-enter the passcode. And of course, make sure you have Face ID enabled. That way you will also be able to use Face ID to unlock the app. Once you have done that, then you will need to go to the shortcuts app and go to the automation section. Now from here, make sure you go ahead and tap that little plus button and tap on create personal automation. Now what we will do here is scroll down and go to app. And now here, you leave this selected here when the app is opened and choose here the app that you want to protect. Now, the downside to this is that you will have to do this process individually for each app that you want to lock. So let's say in this case, we want to lock the calendar app, tap the dumb button. And now what we need to do here is tap the next button and tap on add action. Now, right here, just go ahead and just search for open app. So search for open app. And once you go here, tap on open app and choose an app, something like that is not really anything that you want to protect, maybe like the count, the calculator app. So once someone opens the calendar app, it will immediately take them out of that app and send them to calculator and then tap the plus button and search for guided access. guided access right here start guided access so what we're doing here is setting this automation so every time someone wants to open an app that we want to lock in this case the calendar app this automation will automatically send them to the calculator app and lock them right there so they won't be able to access the protected app tap the next button right here and just disable this tap on don't ask and tap on the dumb button right there and now we're good to go so you can see right here if i try to actually go ahead and open the calendar app you can see it will take me right away out of the calendar app set me right here on the calculator and you can see the device is locked right here of course i can use the calculator but that's about it now what you need to do here is double tap double press here on the side button if you want to unlock it using face id or triple press if you want to unlock it using the passcode that we have set at the beginning. That way you will be able to end guided access and get out of the app. But what if you want to actually use the app, in this case calendar, it will just take you right away out of it. Well, every time you need like to use the app that you actually have locked, you go to shortcuts and go to that automation and just simply disable it for as long as you want to use that app. Anytime you want to lock it, all you got to do is just come back here and enable the automation. Now, of course, someone might be able to actually come here into the shortcuts app and actually disable this automation. That way they will be able to access the content of the app that you have locked. But what you can do here is actually just go ahead and maybe hide the shortcuts app or just maybe add a little screen time limit to that app so no one will be able to use it, of course, after one minute. So you go to settings, you go to screen time and go to app limits, add a limit, search for shortcuts right here. Here we have shortcuts, tap on the add button 
and then tap next. And what you can do here is just set a one minute limit for this one. And of course now every day it will be just one minute and you can use a screen time passcode here to protect the shortcuts using the screen time limit. That way you have your apps of course locked. Now once you have that and you have of course the shortcuts app locked so no one will be able to access your automations then of course it will be very easy for you creating an automation for each app that you want to lock using this trick with guided access. So that's basically it for this video guys. This is a workaround to locking any app you want with face ID or passcode. I know it's not the best thing ever, but as long as Apple doesn't add actually a feature to do that, this is what we have to do. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did and I'll see you on the next one.